Hello, my friend, Evan Scoresby here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a Meta Business Suite account inside of Facebook. Now, I've been uh, creating these video training serio series for the last uh, few videos here, showing you that I've been building this fan page up from the ground up and just taking you on my journey with me as I'm starting something new and building up a new page and basically gonna be growing it and building it and getting followers and just doing everything that I would normally do to build up a page and then eventually turning on the switch to start monetizing it and using this page to hopefully start earning some income. So I'm gonna be showing you this process all along. And so uh, since the last video that I, I recorded in this series, I did go and make a few updates just on my own where I updated the cover photo a little bit where I put an outline on the title, I took out the dot in between improved life. Uh, I added a, a different logo here instead of my picture. I decided to just do a, a different logo, not have me branded on there so much. Um, I also uh, have been posting. So I've been doing some posts. I have this featured post for today I am thankful for. So it's a post that encourages people just to come in here and engage daily where they can leave a comment of what they're thankful for that day. Uh, focusing on the law, excuse me, on the law of gratitude. I'm also doing some other posts where I'm sure today I shared eight benefits of stretching in the morning and also did some reels, did a picture. So I've just been, you know, going through and posting a few times a week. I'm going to start posting daily as I start to get more followers. And so to get more followers initially, I always like to do what's called a like campaign or an engagement campaign where I do an advertisement uh, to promote my page, to get people to come and like it. Uh, you know, but in order to do advertising, we first need to set up a meta business account so we can do the advertising and have a lot more options to be able to interact with our pages and just have everything in one place. Now, with, two full, with full disclosure, you can advertise and promote your page without setting up a meta business account. Uh, but what I have found is that it's a much easier to work with in a meta business. And if you're going to be using it for business related purposes, it's best to have a, a meta business suite anyway. So if you are on your own fan page and you need to create a meta business suite portfolio account, you first want to make sure that you're logged into the profile uh, of your fan page, which I am. Uh, you can do that up in the top right corner if you're not already, or it might be, say switch down here somewhere. But once you're in that profile, you'll come over here where it says Meta Business Suite on the left. So you click that, and this will open up a new window and take you into the Meta Suite information. And uh, you already have access to lots of different options here. You know, as I said, you don't actually need to create a portfolio account if you don't want to, but again, I'd highly recommend that you do. So up here up at the top where it says self, well, for me, it says self-improved life, or you, it'll say the name of your fan page. You would click here and here you would uh, just verify that you don't already have a business portfolio account. Uh, if you do, you don't need to create a new one. And so you could just use the existing one that you already have if you chose, so choose. But you can have, I think, up to two different business portfolios on your account. So since I don't have one yet, and it's just recognizing my personal account, I'm going to click this button that says Create a Business Portfolio. So this will open up where I just need to put in some information. So first it's asking for a business portfolio name. This should match the public name of your business since this will be visible across Meta. It can't contain any special characters, right? So a lot of people may not have an actual business name that they've registered that's legal with their state, and that's fine. You can always just put in your um, the name of your fan page here or your own personal name if you wanted to, but you already have something already set up with your personal name. So I'd do it something a little bit different. So I personally do have a legal registered business name that I'm going to be using and affiliating with my business account. And so I'm going to put that in here and I'll be blurring it out because uh, I kind of try to hold that information private a little bit. So I'll put in my business name. I'll put in my own personal name here. 
and then you'd want to put in your business email address and it just says we'll use this email to contact you about your business it won't be visible to your customers i'm personally just going to use the same email address that i use to log into my facebook account just to make it easy right so i'm just going to put that email address in and then once i have this information in all i have to do is click on the create button so I'll click on create might take a minute here for it to actually go through okay so once it does it's asking me what do you want to claim into this business portfolio so since I have this Facebook page already I want to claim this page this is what I want to use it with this first marketing help one I do that's another page that I have but I don't use it for anything I actually just set it up for training and demo purposes for things that I've done in the past so you just select the page that you want connected and then you click on next and that's going to ask you if you want to add any other people to your fan page usually this is no so you can just click on next and then this is just to confirm this is what you're going to be setting up and you're going to have full control which is confirm so once that's confirmed it'll set up this meta business suite account just like that and so if i come back up here and click on my name it'll now show this business portfolio with one business asset and if i want to go into the settings of this i can just click on this gear icon that goes to settings and this will allow me to come in here and confirm and do a lot of other information within my meta business account now one of the first things that you want to do to finish the setup of your business account here is you want to go right here where it says business portfolio information or info if you click that this will give you a summary of your portfolio information and you may not need to put in all of your business details uh, but if you have a legal registered business account with your state i'd recommend that you do just to confirm with Facebook that you are a legitimate business um, but even if you are not a legitimate business and you're just operating under your own personal information you can still come in here and edit and put in your information with this okay and uh, right now it says you know my business verification status is unverified and in the future I may have to verify my business in order to access certain things in the future so that may come at a point later but one main thing that you want to do on this page, if you scroll down, there's probably be an alert here that says confirm email address. So the email address that you submitted about your business portfolio account, Facebook most likely sent you an email that where you would need to confirm that information. So I just opened up my email here and I do see this email that says confirm your business email address. So you just open up that email, click on confirm. And you can see that it's just loading here. All right, so it does say, and it brings to this page, it shows my information and it does show active. So it is confirmed. So if I come back up here to my portfolio, go back to the settings and then click on well, let's come back here. It's not taking me to where I want to go <laughs> to see my business portfolio information. So let's just come back here to this other window and let me refresh the page and see if it took. So if I come down here, yep. So I don't have that alert anymore down here and it has verified my email address. All right, so that's the number one thing I recommend that you do. Um, going forward, um, I'm gonna be creating other videos that are going to be showing you specific things that I recommend doing inside of your meta business suite in preparation to start advertising. So there's some necessary things that you'll need to do, which include setting up an ad account, um, getting your pixel going, uh, putting in payment information and lots of other things that I'll be going over to show you some recommended things that you'll need to make sure that are going and active before you actually start doing any paid advertising. So watch for those videos coming out in the future. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you how to create uh, your meta business suite initially and to confirm the account and hope you found this information valuable. If you did, please subscribe, like the video, 
And if you're open to learning a little bit more about what I'm doing personally to build an income from home, just go to this website, ProfitCyclePlan.com. I'll also have a link to it in the description below. But just remember that you always have the choice to make it a great day. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.